Today's just one more step in the journey. Uh, I don't think they'll ever have closure. Every day is a reminder that Letitia's not here. Today, even though we've now found out uh, NCR is off the table, or not criminally responsible is off the table, it's still not a happy day. But it certainly is not made worse by the fact that Gabriel Klein could be out in a year after spending some time in a hospital. The hope now is that he'll spend, you know, beyond 10 years in jail for his crime. The murder happened five and a half years ago. In March of last year, he was found guilty. Gabriel Klein was found guilty of second degree murder. A week before he was sent being sentenced in September, he then comes up with his NCR defense. And now here we are six, eight months after that, finding out that, okay, that's off the table, but it still may be another three to six months until there's a sentencing. And then of course, appeals and whatever else might happen. So this is a real ongoing process. And this is something that our judicial system needs to look at, not re-victimizing the victims through the court process. Frankly, he expected this result. Um, it's not a surprise. I mean, Mr. Klein testified on his own behalf for quite a number of days. And the point that came out in this judgment was the point that I think was quite clear to him and certainly quite clear to counsel that there was a problem with his credibility and his reliability. And keep in mind that the, the question that is being asked here is, was he suffering from a mental disorder at the time he killed Letitia Reimer? And at the end of the day, the only evidence that really matters about that is what he can say. And so when he has said different things at different times to different psychologists or psychiatrists and says different things at different times in a courtroom, the court is left with a quandary as to what is the basis of fact on which I can conclude, the judge can conclude, that what he's saying is true. And Justice Holmes today found that Mr. Klein was not credible and not reliable, and that removed the foundation that was required for any finding that he suffered from a mental disorder to the extent he didn't understand the nature and quality of his acts, or to the extent that he didn't appreciate they were wrong.